Hey yo everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are finally doing it. We are finally getting rid of the bug lady and we are going to build Rayquaza from scratch the max we can. And for that we need to reset two Pokemon. One of them is Bug Lady. The reason why I need to get rid of the Bug Lady is for Rayquaza I need rank up cards. And the way that you get rank up cards for a new Pokemon, you usually don't want to build it from scratch, you want to try and get from other Pokemon. So I need to get Bug Lady away because the rank up cards are shared with Bug, Dragon and Fighting, so those will be usable for Rayquaza. So Bug Lady needs to get reset and then the other thing that I need for Rayquaza, it's the Essence. Dragon shares the green essence and which is over here ghost type grass type electric dragon type essence as well so i need to reset this giratina this giratina i was mostly building it in basically either to just showcase or to reset into something else and sadly since i had to get rayquaza i'm like okay giratina can be showcased later we need the rayquaza going on so we are going all in for Rayquaza but before we do I'm going over here on the shop and I'm going on the arena store master shop master shop because I want to try and get the held item that I don't have yet this held item that I want would be a razor claw and honestly I believe I'm unlucky and I'm not going to get a razor claw today Honestly, let's go with the scope lens. Sure, why not? I, I guess we can get raise a claw another day. So I'm going to try my luck with the red card and I got the purple one. I really need an orange one. And then we go to the scope lens, try my luck and I get a green one. It's sadly, sadly, no oranges today. But without further ado, let's reset for a Moza. Bond Pokemon cannot be reset. Okay, we need to go over here to the team and we, we need to go somewhere and remove Feramosa from the bonding. Okay, Feramosa was removed. And now I can reset Feramosa. I'll get basically all of that back. And I'm not sure. I just want the rank up cards. And I'm not sure where will I use this all of this essence for. That is something that needs to be decided later. But for now, getting all of those rank up cards. And all of the runes as well. Yeah, I forgot about it. All of the runes that Feramosa was using... Everything is going into the Rayquaza. So I guess that right now, I guess that I will equip all the runes. No, no, actually I'll do them later. It'll be the last thing so that you guys can see how much the runes matter for a Pokemon. <laughs> Look at the poor bug lady. <laughs> Poor bug lady, 15k power. There is still friendship going on over here, so I can inherit that to Rayquaza later. So first of all, rank up cards, 21,000 power. Let's see where we end. And we are done with a red plus zero Rayquaza, 56k power so far. I am honestly surprised that my game did not lag at all during this process. Next step, star up, and for that we need to go and reset Giratina. <laughs> I love how my stats are all still going around on the screen, like all the stats that Rayquaza was getting, my god. But hopefully this does not bug the game, like me resetting while everything happens in the background does not bug the game. Okay, nothing crashed. Everything seemed fine. I guess we can go back to Rayquaza. And now I'll just wait until everything is over. Everything is over now. So I'll just go and start the star up process. Okay, we reached the one green star. And I just wanted to show the stats to you guys. I guess some people might be interested on the stats that each Pokemon and not just the power number. So these are the stats. Let's continue the star up. And we are done! Five purple stars on Rayquaza. Of course, this did not provide us the biggest amount of power. This provided us a little bit less power. But the good thing about the stars is that they allow you to get a better hyper training level. And this is where the big power comes from. And for the hyper training, I have some sandbags over here, but we are also going to convert some sandbags from other Pokemon. So we are going to convert sandbags and we are going to select the orange ones, which I have now a lot of bug type orange ones. 251, it's not enough. It's a 5,000 diamond conversion. So it's really, really expensive. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, this hurts. This hurts. It's 5,000 diamonds. Let's go. So right now, well, uh, here we go again. Oh, wait. Before we go, before we go, we have 8.3 thousand speed, 14k attack, and right now we have a nature of lonely, which is plus 10 attack. I guess we, we will change the nature later, but I guess this is a good nature to take in consideration because it's a plus attack nature. Let's continue with the time lapse. And we just crossed hyper training plus three. We are on plus four, which is level 70 out of 75. Now, the problem is we ran out of sandbags. How did this happen? This is mostly because the triple S Pokemon consume more sandbags to power up compared to the double S Pokemon. So in order to power up Rayquaza even further, now I need to get more sandbags. I have some over here. I'll see whatever I have. <laughs> oh my God, just one. Okay, I'll see whatever I have that I can use on every single thing. Well, I got some. <laughs> it's not, it's for sure not enough, not even close. We need to go to level 80. What I will do is I'll open some rumble packs and I'll just exchange like 60, 61, okay, 61. And I'll see how much it consumes from level 70 to 75. It consumed 21 purples, which means that I still need quite a lot. It is not enough. I can do the maximum amount, I believe. Let me see. One, two, three. Um, maybe I don't need to do the maximum amount. I'll do like 120. But I believe I'll have to exchange a little bit extra after that. We shall see. Let's put this one to 75. Let's put the physical attack to 75 as well. And we break through. Now that we are close to the end, we are going to focus on the stats that matter for us. That one went from 60 to 34. It's actually consuming 26 of the purple ones right now. We don't want special attack, so we want to put everything on 80, except the special attack. And right now, <laughs> we still need some. We still need some, and this is not enough, man. This is not enough. I need to go and exchange a little bit more. So we only need like 20 more of those purple sandbags. It should be enough because if I go here, hyper training. So we go on the special defense side, right? And now we exchange it all into purple sandbags. Sure. And now it's just not enough. I need one more. <laughs> okay, man. Here's a damn sandbag. Thank you. Everything level 80, everything max out. So we have rank up, we have star up, we have hyper training. Next comes the friendship. Before we do that, here are the sets. We are already at 23k physical attack and 13k speed. Sounds a little bit low, but we will just increase that in a little bit. 138k power and what are we going to do? We are going to get the friendship from Fermosa right into Rayquaza. And for that, we just go over there on the research, over here on the reset option, and then we have inherit friendship. We just need to select Feromosa somehow, somewhere. Uh, I guess it's easier if we go over here and select the bug type. There you go, and we ordered this by class. And there we go, we have our Mega Feromosa over there. And right now we just remove all the types, and we have Rayquaza on the other side. 60 diamonds only for the inherit of friendship. It's not a bad, not a bad. After the friendship, we can see some decent increase as well. And we are not going to stop here. I want to make this friendship level 9. So good luck me and we'll see you in a bit. Right now it's costing me 42 bells. 
an order to do each reset and I only need one stat maxed out. This is painful. And we got it. We got it. I even clicked way too fast. I even clicked way too fast. Now, um, do I want to go and try even go even further? Because this gets super expensive. The later, like the highest you go, the more expensive it gets. Level 9 is my highest one, even on Greninja, as you guys can see. And right now, I would probably just want to have something with like high attack and high speed. But I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit and we have 89 attack. Do I lock this? I might, I might actually lock it and go for a decent speed just for the video. Maybe I should not have locked that, who knows? But this one, 87 speed, I guess these stats are fine for now. I'm not, I'm going to unlock it because I was locking it just to get a little bit more sets right now for the video. And I'm going to unlock it now, and I think we can stay like this, okay? 25k attack, almost 26, and 14k speed. Okay, friendship is kind of done. We can do that later. Let's go to the IVs. How is the IVs? The IVs are actually kind of bad. Actually, let's go to the EVs first, because I need to go to Feramosa and reset the EVs. For 300 diamonds as well, today it's just a diamond fiesta, and as you guys can see... We can just get all the EVs we want. And we just go back over here. Now we just have to press a button. It's okay. Um, you don't get these uh, items back. You don't get these items in return. Because Im imagine, you invested this into the speed of a random Pokemon. What do you get in return when you reset? You get the speed one and you don't get these ones in return. So just keep that in mind when you are investing on a new Pokemon. Don't invest your... Uh, your other items on dumb stuff because those will be converted into that stat forever okay we have exactly the same evs that we had on feromosa let's go i could use this but I, I will not use it just yet let's go finally to the ivs now the ivs you're required to have some golden leaves with you and if you don't have many golden leaves what is usually suggestible is that you just reset or refine a couple of times because the ivs are actually have a decent chance of getting multiple stats maxed out so maybe you just want to refine first and get like i don't know three stats maxed out from the ones that you care about first so that you don't need to spend too many of those golden leaves after Oh, hold up. I guess we got a winner over here. We got speed, attack, HP, and special defense. We are going to lock those bad boys out. And now hopefully with our remaining golden leaves, which is what we need to use after we lock the stats, we are going to get some nice defense. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, we will stop like this. Look at this. Beautiful. Almost perfect. It's 30 defense. Okay, sorry if I offend anybody with 30 defense. But it's it's amazing already. We have a basically almost perfect IV Rayquaza. And it's looking very nice. Before we do the runes, there's another thing we need to take care of. Which is the guild tech. On the guild tech, you can increase any typing that you want. And as you guys can see, I had water at level 33. I already had the bug at 37 because I did not think I would get another like Pokemon so soon after Feromosa. But well, now we need to level up Dragon. Hey! Oi, level 32 is not bad. Wait, I am missing tech points. I'm not missing the other things. And I don't, I cannot get tech points. Oh no, my tech points ran out. How much is this? 1.8k, oh god. But you also get a lot. You also get good stuff, right? Oh god. Uh, well, everybody can... I got a little bit of diamonds in return. And my guildmates will be happy about it. Let me actually just message them. <laughs> So that the the active guildmates can actually get good stuff. Okay, Dragon, you are going level 33 now. And with that, there's a little bit more balance with Greninja. 165 already. While Greninja is already like, I don't know, full hyper trained, almost full hyper trained. Okay, he's missing some stats. But we have like a decent friendship, a decent runes and whatever. And we still did not put the runes into the Rayquaza. Which is exactly what we are going to do right now. Before we do it... 
27k, almost 28k attack, 17k, almost 18k speed. Okay, and we are going to equip the runes. Equipping the runes have a lot of physical attack. It's mostly physical attack based more than speed. And we have some special defense going on over here. What is this one? That's a plus 15. So which one is worth it the most? This one has 7 speed and defenses. This one has speed and attack and a little bit of HP. Oh my god, those are hard. Those are actually hard. Where did I get this one? You know what? This one actually looks better even though it's a plus 12. It actually looks better. Let me just equip... The, the, the other one gives a little bit more power and more speed and attack. So I guess we are going for that one right now. And we are done with the runes. Full runes equipped. Do we keep this berry? No, probably not. We are going to do this one. Let's check our stats. 173k power, 31.5k attack, 18k speed. As you can see, much less speed, yes. But look at the attack. Oh boy, it's insane. It's crazy. It's a big boy Rayquaza right here. Let's just fix the moveset really quick. If I go right there to my research option, I have two beautiful things that I have. I got it. I have Delta Stream, which I got it like so long ago that I forgot this existed. So I have Delta Stream over here. And on the TMs, I actually got myself, I got Dragon Ascent, which is the one that I want to use for Rayquaza. So, with that said, I will actually keep Outrage, I will go with the Person Berry, which is, will heal me out of the confusion of the Outrage, I will go to the Learning Moves, and the Dragon Ensign that I have over there, which is Flying type, it's physical, I'm going to learn it, and it's going to replace Crunch. After replacing Crunch, I'm going to also give this big boy a held item. And since I'm unlucky with held items, I'm actually going to get the new one. And the one that I want to try with Rayquaza, it's going to be Razor Claw. Now the Razor Claw, what it does is boost the power of contact moves by 20%. And the good thing is, with this moveset that Rayquaza has right now, let me just equip the held item over here. This moveset that it is right now, all of these three moves are contact moves. Rayquaza is officially completed, he's also officially the highest power of my team. I have a feeling I had something else to say, but I forgot what it was, so we are going into the arena. But of course I can't do anything with the level 1 bug lady, God damn it! And a while ago I told you like, I feel I'm forgetting something, it's Delta Stream, okay. We are going to change the ability to Delta Stream because it just negates the flying type weakness, so we are going to do that. So let's buy ourselves some chances and let's start the massacre. This guy starts with an Azumarill, level 80. It's actually a very nice Pokemon, yes indeed. And I have a feeling that if he hits me with a play rough, which is a fairy type, I might be dead. But I'm going to Dragon Dance once and see what happens. And he did hit me with a play rough, but never mind. I thought he would have more damage. It's fine. I guess I kinda did not need the Dragon Dance. I should I should have tried without the Dragon Dance first. I believe that was a maxed out um, maxed out Greninja because it had like eighteen thousand HP, so that should have been a maxed out Greninja. And now with the Outrage, it's, it just kills everything at this point. So what I like about this is like all of these moves have one twenty power. Outrage is it's kind of kind of dangerous to use because you get locked to that move. What does this player has? A maxed out. Okay, a maxed out one of those, and a maxed out Landorus. Not the maxed out Landorus, but really close. I don't think it would be like the best example. I guess I can go against T-Blaine because T-Blaine has a three, and it has a Palkia, which is a very nice example. And for for example, over here I would not use Outrage because then there's a Diancie right after. Now, do I try Outrage out of the start? Because technically, I need to use Outrage if I want to take down Palkia. Or do I use a Dragon Dance? Actually, I want to go like straight up Outrage to see the damage output. I have no idea what the damage output will be, so we just go and straight up to the damage output at one shotting the Palkia. Let's go. That's not something you see every day. And now this guy is faster, but well, he does not much damage. <laughs> and we go, and we just one shot the. Does Zerara as well? Why not? Honestly, Zerara is usually one of the tankiest Pokemons I've been seeing in this po in this game sometimes. And related to the physical attacks, Zerara impresses me a lot. But I, I guess Rayquaza is just on a whole new level. 
Yeah, let's go over here on T Blaine. He probably has them on their team. Yeah, they are almost as powered basically as the Rayquaza. Even though it's missing some power, but remember, it's a double less, so it already has less power. And not just that, when you are investigating, when you are inspecting uh, players on the friends list or guild list or whatever, you will see less power. Because if I go over here, let's see, to my own account and I click on my own player, which I can't, maybe go over here on the ranking and click on view yes i can and i can click on rayquaza 169k power how much do i really have i have 173 so as you can see we see less power over there so it means that those powers that i just played against the t-blade it's actually like basically the same power level as rayquaza so uh that was a pretty nice example of course, Rayquaza has its flaws, and it's mostly, I would say, it's mostly fairy types. And as we try to use a Dragon Ancient to see how much damage we would deal on this Mew, this Mew actually managed to tank it. But if I had the Dragon Dance before, would be one shot it for sure for sure what did you guys think of this big boy let me know in the comments and of course i was almost forgetting about the most important thing which is giving a name to this caterpie god over here <laughs> well this is the end of the video really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget leave a like subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video